And that was Ashley Stormeyer reporting. Now it's time to bring in meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with the latest on Ian this morning. So daylight emerging in Florida. We're going to get a closer look at the destruction in the Sunshine State, Michelle. And even the videos of uh, reports that were coming in yesterday. Yeah. Just uh, such a strong and powerful storm and still going to be dealing with damaging wind gusts, the threat of uh, life threatening storm surge, flash flooding ongoing through today and for Friday as well as the risks of that spread into Georgia and the Carolinas. East Providence though here, we've just been enjoying a beautiful week of September weather in southern New England and as the sun rises, lining up another nice day. Gonna be a little cooler today. Right now it's in the upper 40s to lower 50s. 53 Newport and New Bedford, westerly at 52 degrees. I kept our threat tracker in the green for today and Friday, but do want to give you a heads up about Saturday. New data coming in pointing to a rainier start to the weekend. We can get some of the moisture from Ian's remnants into the area, bringing a chilly rain, 50s and rain to southern New England for Saturday. Here's the latest on Ian. It's a tropical storm right now and expected to continue to bring some heavy rain. The storm surge flood threat continues over northeast Florida and it right now has maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour moving to the northeast slowly at eight miles per hour. So it'll be back over water in the Atlantic by this afternoon. Here's a look at the wind gusts right now. Daytona Beach gusting to over 60 miles per hour. Orlando at the airport gusting over 50 miles per hour. That storm again by two o'clock expected to be offshore from there going to strengthen some potentially before landfall. There are some hurricane watches up for Georgia and South Carolina's coastline. Tropical storm warnings. There now the forecast brings this storm near Charleston by Friday afternoon. It'll weaken as it moves over land again, and that will bring uh, some of those impacts to mostly just rain. But today still could see a storm surge of two to as high as six feet in parts of the northeast Florida to South Carolina coastline. Rainfall amounts four to eight inches isolated 12 inch totals possible. And there's tropical storm force winds expected from northeast Florida to southeast North Carolina. Locally, though, our winds are light, our skies are dry and mostly sunny for this morning, about 60 degrees by 10 a.m., middle 60s by noon and mid and upper 60s in the second half of the day. Some filtered sun through high clouds expected, but staying dry with north winds about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And we're looking at quiet conditions along our coastline, too, with similar temperatures in the middle 60s. Tonight, cool and dry, partly cloudy skies, north winds at about five miles per hour. So one of the keys to the forecast here is this area of high pressure that you see building in from the north and west. That's going to block Ian initially from coming northward and force it to the Carolinas and Georgia. And from there you can see the cloud cover starts to spread in. So tomorrow a day of partly to mostly cloudy skies, but staying dry. That rain tries to move northward. We get a little piece of moisture that uh, away from the actual center of the remnants of Ian, but will try to spread into southern New England, giving us a rainy day on Saturday. How much rain makes it into our area still up in the air, but some of our latest data and has a pretty good soaking for us with upper 50s for highs. Sunday looking windy and cool, upper 50s and those breezy winds and extra clouds below average high temperatures expected to last into next week.